see you're the greatest woman who had the earth. You're the greatest man who had the earth. What more you want from us? They used to deliver life to you. Do you want it? If you want it, you have to do what the Bible said. God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's, right. That's what the Bible said. I can't do nothing more. I can't hug you. I can't take you off and put you in the Bible. You have to do the rest of that yourself. What is a bastard? Can you give me the definition for a bastard? Huh? Without a father? Okay, it's more for it. It's more for it. It's more, more, more than that. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna have a father, and you're not gonna get the wealth, now the inheritance, what you're supposed to get. That makes sense? Yeah. You see that? So give me that real quick. Bastard. Uh huh. An unpleasant or despicable person. You see that? Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. For real. God said you are unspeakable. Get yourself a real. How would you choose somebody what unspeakable is? Unspeakable. You know what I'm saying? So, my with me what I get, when I come to the truth, I acknowledge that, oh, that was love. For we to travel. How many years did take? we take from that side and those boat? Three months? It's three months, right? Three months. Packed. Give me the boat. Give me the boat, please. Give me the boat. Turn around. Where, where the boat at? Oh, right here. See that? Right here. You see who was packed, brothers and sisters? You see who was packed? This is like shelf by shelf. You understand? So when I want to pee, I have to pee. And I have to pee on top of it and I run down and all this. When I want to do, do. I have to poop, right? I have to do the same thing for three months. I want to tell me that you don't want to repent. You don't want to get life forever. You don't want to put back this nation back into captivity. Huh? America gonna burn up since this is the last of it. World War Three and it's over. All the pastors used to tell us that God coming. When World War Three start, that's a time coming up. God coming to the sky. Right. But nobody believed. Because remember, before the Mosai flood the earth, Mosai take 118 air before the Mosai flood the earth. No one was preaching, telling the people God coming. Nobody believed. Until God flood the earth and kill everybody on only a person. God come and burn, um, burn America up and only one third and the righteous people are gonna level. Every one of you guys who do not keep your life gonna die here. That's a fact. Give me that to Zachariah. Cause you don't you believe know? me. I'm not saying what is not here. It's right here. Come on, read it for me. Sure. Yeah. It's right here. Right in the book. Zechariah yeah. chapter 13 and verse eight. Yeah. Right? And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein, shall be cut off and die. You know um, how much is two parts? Yeah, I do Two thirds. The people in America and the West Indian Islands gonna die. Cause they're gonna say, wait until God come, you can't judge me. That's when you're gonna die. See that? You can't wait until God come, you wanna repent. You have to repent now. Prepare yourself, cause God said I'm gonna come like a thief in the night. You know what I thief do? I think wait until you leave. Then he broke in. That's how God said it's gonna appear. Right here. You want that? You want that to happen to you? But it is, sis. I'm telling you, this is no joke. This is real business, but our people like to feel. You understand? Like the drug dealer. You wanna sell, 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 sell. And they understand, sir. You understand the undercover, six block over under the high rise of buildings, watching them every day. Use his own money, send niggas to buy from him. Now we in jail for what? 30 years. Life. We, that's the mindset we have as a people. We have to get hurt first before we believe that, yes. You know what I'm saying? You can't wait. You gotta wait. If you wait, you're gonna be too late. You ever hear they say, if you wait, you're gonna be too late? You understand? They said, do not run down a what? A bus. You don't tell them that? Do not run behind a bus. People go into the bus, like the bus stop to take a bus. And the bus was there and started to go. Many people like to run. No, parents said, no, run down a bus. Yes, I ain't running down nothing. I'm preparing myself. Because it can come tomorrow. It can come the other day. And I want to be there. Yeah, I want to get beam up in those chariots. All right. You ain't going to beam up into a car or in an aeroplane because everything's going to be doomed. Do you understand? So, no, you want to tell me that all of what I just bring on, you don't believe nothing what I just did? You believe it? So, if you believe it, right? What I'm going to ask, right? The question what you're supposed to ask me. 
What is supposed to ask me? The question. What question is supposed to ask? What you can do to do what? To get life forever. What is it? Okay. Yes. What is give me that? You know what I want. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. That's it. Come on. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? None of these people believe that there's a thing named life or heaven. None of these people believe that after you die, you understand, there's a life gonna come in the afterlife. What? You're gonna have life forever. You understand? Watch this. Come on. And he said unto him, uh -huh. Why callest thou me good? Come on. There is none good but what? Come on. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. What is it? Keep the commandments. What is it, sis? That's what give you life forever. Baruch 4 1. That's what give you life forever. Right. Life ever, ever. But this brother don't believe that. He don't believe that life's gonna be there forever. He believe when he die, he just die. You believe when he die, you die. You crazy son. You understand? For real. Every one of the prophets who died before you, they came back. Why 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 the earth cannot be filled with people? Because it's a cycle. It's a cycle. Like when the river go downstream, if the mountain even so high when it fall down, the water go back. You never know that? That's why the sea cannot be full. That's the same thing God made us just like that. You know what I'm saying? We come back. You understand? It's a cycle. Come on, read it for me. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. Read. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is it. This is not the white man book. This is not the white man book. This is the book of the commandments of God. Come on. And the law that endure forever. What the law is, sister? What the law do? What did the Lord do? Read it again. And the law that endure forever. So the pastor said it done away with. What the Lord did? He endure forever. The law is forever. Those are not true. Those are not true. Those are not true. They're not set in there forever. The pastor said it done away with. That's why we have a lot of baby mama here. We have a lot of baby daddy here. You understand? We have a lot of youngster here because the pastor said it done away with. So we do doing our own thing. You see that? Come on. All they that keep it shall come to life. So when you keep it, you do what? You come to life. Come on. But such as leave it. What happened? So God. You, hear that? you see that you leave the law, right? You know what you mean? When you leave the law. Yeah. When you sin of death, Roman 6. So when you leave the law, you die. Come on. Leave it That's why many of you brothers, not tonight, you hear that how many brothers get killed. After this suit right here, you're gonna hear that song. Oh, you don't hear that behind the Oh, he died. That's what God is. God said, you want to do your own thing, you see that? Oh, you pleasurely? Just walk and everything is good. But when it comes to the Bible, you guys don't want to hear nothing about it. You understand? What profit you get from what happened today? Tell me, what, what profit you get? You get, yeah? What profit you get? No, I'm saying, what profit you get from what you do today? What profit? Nothing, son. Nothing. Nothing. I used to do the same thing, bro. The biggest thing is, is, is in New York. Every Labor Day. Straight up the parkway. You understand? It's only old and old mom guys today. And, say, oh, really? and after that, people get AIDS. People get gonorrhea, herpes. That's what people get after that. You understand? Know that is an OG. You understand? Know people just see people and just want to just upset with each other. Don't want to make the sister to be a wife. Do not want to make the brother to be a wife. Our, our husband. That's what it is. So watch this. Come on, read it for me. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. What is it? For the wage of... No, verse 21. Watch this. Come on. Verse 21. Yeah. What proof had he then in those things what whereof? What food to get? What food to get from today? Tell me, what food to get from? Just come down here and you want to walk around and do what? What food you get from it? You could be in your house and turn up your nice set the music and do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? For real. You could do it inside and do that. Put a barbecue pizza on the back and barbecue some. I'm lying. I know you're hungry right now. I know that. I know you're hungry right now. That's no profit. You don't get no profit from walk the parkway, bro. Come on. Where else? You are now a shame. You are a shame. Right now we are ashamed because we always want to lift up America. You know how many money people been spent today or yesterday to come and lay on the parkway and no profit from it? Come on! For the end of those things is what? Is death. Death. End of what we just did is death. There's nothing to get from it. That's the profit you're going to get from it. The end is death. Come on! But now being made free from sin. So now we make, because I told you, this brother used to do that. All of us used to do that. 
All of us used to do the same thing, but now we're free from that. Come on. And become servants to God. And we became servants to God. You know why we become servants to God? We acknowledge the, the, the Sabbath. We acknowledge the, the, the Pentecost, the, the Passover. We acknowledge the, the moon. You understand? Because every month is a moon. That's a feast day. We floss. We have the nicest dress, nicest skirts, nicest clothes as the men. On the feast until daylight. I would have no work tomorrow. You understand? That's what it is. We don't. And become servants to God. And become servants to God. Come on. You have your fruit unto holiness. You see that we have our fruit unto holiness. We separate ourselves from the world. You understand? That's our fruit act. You see that? We don't do what the world do. We understand planet, yeah? But we do not do what America do. You see that? Watch this. Come on. And the end everlasting life. And the what? And the end everlasting life. You don't want it? You don't want everlasting life? Oh, you do, right? All right, watch this, come on. For the wages of sin is death. So now, the law give you life. So if you leave the law, what happens? Death. Death. Death, bro. The wages of sin is death. Like your salary, like you work at the store, or Walmart, or Burger King, and on Friday they pay you. That's what you get from sin. The wages, the pay you get is death. You understand? So what can stop that then? One more scripture before I go. Give me that in first Corinthians chapter 15. You understand verse 55. One more scripture. Watch this. So what can save you from that death? Watch this. Come on. You want some? Come on. Come on. Read it from First Corinthians 15. Yeah. Yes. No. 55. Come on. 55. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 55. So what you get from this? You understand what you can do to escape death? Watch this. Watch this. Come on. Oh, death. Where is thy sting? Because people feel like death, you cannot avoid death. So now, the prophet asks it, oh death, where is your sting? Why you kill people like that, death? What I can do to stop you from killing me, death? Come on. Oh great, where is thy victory? So when I go under, what victory I get from go under? Come on. The sting of death is sin. So you see that? So if you can, you can escape that. The sting of death is sin. When you're in sin, you're gonna die. But to escape that, what are you gonna do? And the strength of sin is the law. Same law, what they told you that. All you're gonna away with, that's your strength. To escape death, to escape the grave. You have to do what? Keep the law, keep the commandments. That's how easy it is. You don't have to carry a stick on your head. You don't have to wake up in the morning and take the bus to downtown to work on the plantation. You see that? That's what it is. That's what God said. So what else? What you want me to do? You want to cry to you to tell you that? God said you're the greatest woman who had hurt. You're the greatest man who had hurt. What more you want from us? We're here to deliver life to you. Do you want it? If you want it, you have to do what the Bible said. God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's what the Bible said. I can't do nothing more. I can't hug you. I can't take you up and put you in the Bible. You have to do that, that, that yourself. Right. That's what the Bible said. That's what it said. We are out here pouring out to you guys. That there's better for you all. America is not it. America is going to burn to dust. Right. And that's what God said. God is going to burn this place up. And we'll never, the smoke will never be quenched. When we're back home, we're going to see this place in flames, smoking until forever. That's what it is. The only thing I can do, the only thing I can do, that's it. You see that? America gonna burn. You gonna wait until it's gonna burn? You understand for real? There's no one gonna escape this, sis. You understand? The Bible said the stars gonna fall from the heavens. You know what's that? The satellite. What you take your phone out and wanna call somebody on the other side of town? Yo. All those things gonna fall to the ground. The plane gonna fall from the sky. What can do that? Who can do that? God. Sister. Give me that. One more scripture. One of Matthew 12. Chapter 24, verse 39. Give me that real quick, 29 real quick. You know what God said? God said the powers of the heaven gonna shake. And everything went up there. What the white man put up there and want to go up there and live, gonna fall here. And they're gonna burn in it. So you feel like said, what do you have to escape it? Do you have any bunker? Do you have any bunker? You know what is a bunker? What a bit under the ground? Do you have nothing like that? So that house where you're living, if they find a shot, you can go straight to the wall. This are ICBM missile gonna burn this place up. Do you want that? 
Why? No, tell me the transportation, what you have to save yourself. God said I have chariot for you. God said I have chariots to take you out. You understand for real? The white man do not have that. You see that reader from the repair. Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Come on. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. After the tribulation, when that boom. After those days, which is now. Come on. Shall the sun be darkened? The sun. You understand for real? All the tires from these cars is. The tires, the road, the tar. You understand? The asphalt where they used to make the top of the building. After all those smoke go up. You understand for real? The sun going to be darkened. Because the old place is going to be dark. Just look at it. All the tires from the car catch a fire. And that crusty smoke going up. You can't see the sun. So if you can't see the sun, what happened? Huh? When all the light been knocked out, all the power been knocked out, all are going to be dark. And I'm not talking about night. Day! Come on. And the moon shall not give her light. On the moon, you will never see the moon. It's going to be so dark. You can't see the moon. You understand? If you look up right now, you can see the sun right here. And if you look anywhere across, you can see the moon. Just tell me where it's at, where to see it. You can see it. There are two ordinances not supposed to be up at the same time. That's why you know it's coming up the Lord. It's, it's close. The Lord is here. You see what I'm saying? One's supposed to be in the night, and one's supposed to be in the day. Why are the two of them in the daytime? You ever see the boy yourself? You ever look up and see that? The moon on one side and the sun on one side in the daytime? The coming up the Lord is near. One's supposed to be in the night, one's supposed to be in the day. Why these two ordinances out? Because the coming of Christ, everything have to start over. And we're going to start it over. Do you understand that? Come on, read on. And the stars shall fall from the heaven. And the satellite, not the, not the literal star. Is it going to be for heaven? Did you get a fly? The satellite, what they use to do your cell phone, to take the plane, to take your places, they're going to smash out. Come on. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. You know what can shake the powers of this heaven? What, what can do that? What can shake this? What they can use to shake this earth? What about World War I? You know about World War I? What they use to shake the earth? Bombs. America had a bomb. What they call it again? Adam bomb. No, they have it. Satan. Moab. Uh, uh, Take it up. Take out the phone and dig it up right now. You're going to see for yourself. That bomb is more. Yeah, like the same, it, it, it has the same type of feature like what they used in 1945 and Nagasaki. And kill those, those, those who? Those Japanese. It has the same type of food up type of smoke type of thing. You understand? That's what God's going to use to destroy this. The powers of the heaven shall shake. What can do that? Bombs. Come on. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man. That's why I told you. When you see that, the sign of the Son of God will come. In where? In heaven. In heaven. We will work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary.
One. It's one.